you don't have it already, you can download the app MyShake. It's the state's first earthquake early warning system that delivers alerts to people's cell phones through an app developed at UC Berkeley. ABC 7 News reporter Stephanie Sierra is digging into how effective it was today when that earthquake struck the Bay Area. Steph. Yes, Emma. Well, as far as Tesco, the MyShake app was not only effective but efficient. Most people who have it reporting on social media, they got the notice before the quake hit. Now, that's what the technology is designed to do, but experts are already looking at ways to detect the threat even faster. Before an earthquake hits, every second counts. That's why the state rolled out the app called MyShake in 2019 to warn people with an alert on their cell phones before the ground starts shaking. Professor Richard Allen is the director of UC Berkeley's seismology lab, where this app was developed. As luck would have it, Allen happened to be giving an exam to 500 students when the 5.1 quake hit east of San Jose. In the middle of the exam, uh, we all, all of our phones went off. Everybody has the MyShake app downloaded so they get the early warnings. Allen says his students received at most about a second or two notice before the ground started to shake. We will study pretty hard the feedback we get from people. And are we alerting the right group of people? Do we need to alert a wider area or perhaps even a smaller area? The warnings are sent through the MyShake app through a system run by the U.S. Geological Survey and the California Department of Emergency Services. Allen says the technology has been in the works for over the past decade, but has only been in the market for a few years. It's a test for the early warning system. The Bay Area has been a training ground for quake alert systems. USGS scientist and earthquake consultant Ross Stein says the best results provided a 10-second warning. Can we create a system that gives us more than 10 seconds? Probably not. Because for the shaking to be really strong, the earthquake needs to be really close. And if it's really close, that seismic wave is going to arrive very soon with respect to our ability to identify that wave. But Stein says new research is underway to advance that. Which we don't just use seismometers in the ground that are dedicated to earthquake early warning, but we can use everybody's cell phone as another source of warning. Still, Stein says that warning will always be in the ballpark of 10 seconds, a time frame Allen and his team are working towards. We live in earthquake country. We need to be ready for much larger earthquakes than this. And that's exactly why the timeliness and accuracy of these alerts are crucial. To put it in perspective for you, the shaking will be 10 times stronger with a magnitude 6 quake and 100 times stronger with a magnitude 7 quake. That's, of course, the big threat. Alan says they're always preparing for AMA. Ooh, that is scary stuff. So what did experts say about the likelihood of a magnitude 7 quake following this one today? You know, it's not good news. Amma Stein, who is actually researching that exact question, says it's not a matter of if, but when, especially because where the quake hit today, the Calaveras Fault, one of our most lethal faults because it connects to the Hayward Fault, where we essentially have one very long fault. His point is if it ruptured together, it could create a magnitude 7.5 quake and that of course occurring on the most populated corridor of the Bay Area stretching from Oakland, Hayward, San Jose all the way to Morgan Hill. All right, thank you Stephanie.